This is restored footage from San Francisco in 1904. And it's gonna run for about a minute, and I want all of us to just take all of this in. Every single person you see, every single activity that you see, I want us to just watch this, and then we'll close this out. Watch this with me. So as you saw, there were families and kids. There were busy businessmen caught in conversation. You probably didn't see it, but in the very first frames, a man gets hit by a car, very lightly, but he gets hit by a car because he wasn't paying attention. There's a group of teens that are probably up to no good, hitchhiking on the back of a car. Every single one of those people, they had stories, they had dreams, they had aspirations, they had families, they had fears, they had doubts. None of them are alive anymore. And none of us, know their names or their faces, whatever they were up to that day doesn't matter. Whatever they were longing for doesn't matter now. Whatever they were stressing about doesn't matter now. All of them have passed on and now what? They're just a YouTube video. And again, a strict horizontal view, a strict under the sun view of life. All I got for you is, oh, that's really depressing. But the series is the gospel in Ecclesiastes. So let me read to you what Ecclesiastes has to offer for us, and then I'll point you to Jesus as we close. He says this, the very next verse, A person can do nothing better than to eat and drink and find satisfaction in their toil. This too, I see, is from the hand of God. For without him, who can eat or find enjoyment? So what is the lesson that Ecclesiastes wants us to leave with today? The hevel, you cannot live it, you cannot smart it, you can't drown it out, so enjoy it, so cherish it. What he's saying is everything we experience in life should be a sign post pointing up saying, God, thank you for this. Help me not to think about the next thing. Let me just embrace the thing that is this thing that is a good day. That video is really, really depressing for us, huh? Because we're like, oh, they're all gone. Every single person in that video is intimately known and loved by God. Not just he knew them, he knows them and loves them. The children playing, the little, the little kids smile at the end, the mother at the very end, you can tell like she's just had a day. Intimately known and infinitely loved. And there is no striving, God's not going like, hurry for your appointment, you know? And God's just saying, enjoy me and enjoy this and follow me and trust me. You can't outlive this Hevel of it all, so enjoy it. What we will unpack is that Ecclesiastes wants to teach us that life under the sun is meaningless. The gospel teaches us that life under his sun, life under the sun, is meaningful. A horizontal view of life, of all that life has to offer you, will not eternally satisfy, so look up. But again, I think the lesson for us today, and you can stand with me as we close in the weirdest way possible, maybe all the things you're stressed about right now don't really matter. And I know you're so big and important and you probably work for a really big company and pays you so much and blah, blah, blah. And your phone's been ringing this whole time. Maybe we could all just, maybe we could all just hevel together. The vapor, the breath. And we can just go, God, thank you for the simple joys of today. Maybe it's a lunch. Maybe it's a nap. In Jesus' name, I receive that. I think the beauty of it all is all of this is fleeting. So God, where are you in the here and now? For the small joys, they don't have to be small joys. If you just look up and go, hey, thank you for